I cannot stress that enough, the amount of times I've been in the game, and all I hear is, say, 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 it's like, okay, man, I get it. I live inside my own world of make-believe. Kids Welcome to the sixth installment of our Valorant Academy series, guys. In this episode, we're going to be going through the 10 best tips I can give you guys, okay, um, to be a better teammate in Valorant. The first point I want to give you guys is getting into agent select. The main thing here is not to insta-lock an agent, but to hover it instead. Insta-locking an agent can cause friction between the teammates. Also, when joining a game, make sure you greet your teammates, okay? Say hello especially if you want to pick a duelist. For some reason in Valorant, picking duelists, people will associate you with being someone who is toxic, someone who doesn't talk. The second point I cannot stress enough is so important, okay? Which is buying guns for your teammates. You want to keep the economy as even for your team as you can. If you have a lot of money, buy guns for your team. If you have a lot of money and everybody else doesn't, and you haven't got enough to buy everybody a Vandal, for example, which you won't have, buy everybody a Sheriff, they can buy half armor, you can play a half half buy round, okay? If you're the only one buying, and everybody else is on a Sheriff round, for example, this could again cause friction between the teammates. Communication is going to be the third point that I want to talk to you guys about. The first one being is if the spike is being planted. There's nothing more annoying than if you are holding B site, for example, and the people on A have not said anything, the bomb goes down, and you've wasted 10 seconds where you could have rotated, people from the other side of the map won't be able to hear that spike going down. So you literally just have to say, they're planting A, they're planting B, they're planting C. If you hear an enemy, I've heard one garage, okay? It doesn't harm just to say where you've seen somebody or where you've heard, heard somebody. Simply just saying, Sover is B main, and saying who you saw is also very important. If you haven't got a microphone, right, or you feel uncomfortable talking, you can just use your ping button. I have mine set to Z, they're up, they're very, up, very up. easy. I know some people use their abilities as Z. Just ping. One thing I cannot stress, though, is playing Valorant without a microphone. I understand if you're from Russia or somewhere where chat restrictions are in place and you can't talk, okay, that's fine. But if you have a microphone, please, please, please talk in ranks. If you're uncomfortable... Just say minimal information, but information will help you win rounds in this game. It's a team game. You have to work together. If you see that there is a problem in the team, so if you're losing A site quite a lot of times, don't go at your teammates and say, you guys on A, this is your problem. Try and think of a solution and put the solution across without saying, you guys are doing bad on A, I want to do this. Say it in a more friendly manner. If someone criticizes you, please say okay i'll try not to do that accept the criticism even if you don't like believe it and move on another good tip for you guys um to be a better teammate in valorant is to have your teammates backs if you're in a two versus two situation for example make sure you've got their back while they're planting okay if one of your duelists is also going in and you're playing a sentinel for example or initiator or a controller Make sure you have their back. Watch an angle that you think the enemy can come from. The fifth point I want to get across to you guys how to be a better teammate in Valorant is knowing what you're playing, okay? Who you are and what role this agent should do. For example, if you're a duelist, you need to try an entry frag. If you're playing a duelist and you're lurking and you're baiting your teammates, understand if your teammates aren't having a very good day, you might have to bait them in some cases. But if you're playing a duelist, try an entry frag, try and keep the team morale up. In Valorant, you have four different classes, okay? So you have a duelist, an initiator, a sentinel, and a controller. If you're a smoker, right, which is a controller like Brimstone or Roman, tell your team where you're smoking, okay? And say, let's go B, I'm smoking here. This is your role, okay? You need to fulfill that role. I also feel like... When playing Sky or Sage, so the healing agents, you need to make sure you're calling how long your heal has left. If you've already healed someone and there's like 20 seconds left on a heal, before your teammates all start shouting, Sage, heal me, Sage, heal me, Sage, revive me. You know, everybody has had this happen to them when you're playing Sage, okay? Just say, 20 seconds left on heal. If they say it again, just say, 20 seconds left on heal. Just repeat yourself. If they keep on repeating their self, you repeat yourself. It's not toxic. It's just getting that communication across. I cannot stress that enough, the amount of times I've been in a game, and all I hear is, Sage, 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 Sage. It's like, okay, man, I get it. 
if you're like me and you're not consistent every day, if you're having a bad aiming day, you know, you still need to try and support your teammates in other possible ways that aren't getting kills. If you take the spike and you go to plant it, your teammates who have got better aim in that game, they'll be able to cover you or at least trade you. Communicate with him. Tell him where you're planting. Default plant. I know when you play the game a lot, you'll learn where default plant is. Maybe I can go through that in another video. Make calls, okay? Try and be the eyes of the team. If you see someone, call it. If you hear someone, call it. Play the information game. Try to analyze the enemy. You want to have the bigger brain. If you haven't got the better aim, have the bigger brain. Also focus on executing your utility perfectly. Like I said in the previous tip, make sure you're calling your smokes. Make sure you're saying you have a Molotov. If you can't aim, just play post plant, which means after planting. If your teammates are stuck in positions such as hooker on bind, or maybe they're stuck between catwalk and garden on a ascent, just go and rotate and help them out, you know? Tell them, slow down, I'm coming to help. You've got utility, use it. So if someone's stuck in the teleporter um, on bind, right, you can try and push hooker to clear space the other side of the teleporter. The enemies are in hooker, they probably shouldn't have taken the teleporter in the first place, but so they haven't got to open the TP and fight somebody because they're at a disadvantage, you want to go and clear outside of that teleporter. If someone is stuck in the corner, for example, like I said, on A Ascent Shorts, it's easy to get stuck in that cabbie. So just peek together, maybe. It's always better to peek an enemy with your teammate than it is to peek one by one. Trading your teammates. I cannot stress this enough, and I've probably mentioned it about four times already in this video. Trade your teammates. Go with your teammates. If your teammate is pushing and maybe he's pushed for a kill during Molotov, go with him. If he doesn't get the kill, you get the trade kill. So it's a one for one. If you push with somebody, they're not going to get angry that you didn't get the trade kill if you both get sprayed down. If, if you can see your teammate pushing and you haven't pushed, you're more than likely going to get flamed by your teammate if you have toxic teammates on your team. And that will put the morale down. I did mention earlier on, the only times you can bait teammates is if they're low. Or if they're having a bad day, just say go first and I'll trade you. This is an obvious tip. It's that bit of communication that you don't need, but it will help you win games if you boost morale, okay? So getting into the lobby, say hello. If someone makes a nice try, say nice try, you know? Like, I, I know for a fact when I've made tries and my teammates haven't said anything, it's like, okay, they're not even watching. Like, it, it, you lose a bit of motivation. So if somebody, you know, maybe misses a shot, say, unlucky, nice try. If they hit a good shot, make sure you type, nice shot in chat or say it, communicate. You want to be the best Valorant player, the best Valorant teammate you can be. Wait till the game is done before you say GG. I can't, I can't stress that enough, especially after it happened to me and it's very embarrassing, even on stream. I understand as a streamer, I don't like to do it, but sometimes it's needed. If you are having a bad day, either go to unrated, change game, or just take a break. Don't keep playing because it will just build up. It will snowball. So lastly, I just want you guys to take away this last tip and it is lead by example. Sometimes it is hard to do all these things and put them all together in a ranked game. But if you do try and follow these tips, show your teammates the right way to behave in a game. They might get inspired to do the same. The more people that use these tips, the better the game will be. That's the point you need to take away. 